Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and that means it's coffee chat time. It's Billy and B-Town with Meridian Real Estate, and I am here with my special guest here at the Nile Rodeo. I'm here with Shelby and Haley. Haley. So, Shelby, tell me a little bit about what your role is here for the Nile. Sure. Yeah, so I am the Livestock Department Manager and Youth Education Director here at the Nile. So, I oversee all of the livestock, be it cattle, lambs, goats, hogs, everything in between as well as youth education. So like our internship program, our Nile Merit Helper program, scholarships, etc. So you're busy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're busy. So when so how when do you guys start prepping for this event? So it's an all year prep. Oh, so wow. as soon as we get done with this event, we'll wrap it up obviously. But then we'll be on to twenty twenty two. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So how long have you been setting up here at the Metro? How long has it been? It takes about two weeks to get set up. Everything outside, trade show, inside here. About two oh, wow. weeks. That's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So tell us a little bit about the internship program because you're part of that. Yeah, correct. So I'm one of the media interns. Um, so there's media interns, livestock media interns, equine, equine media. Okay. So livestock interns focus primarily on checking in. That's where most of them are right now, checking in lambs, goats, hogs. Um, we in turn focus a lot on social media, content posting, um, email blasts, uh, doing oh, updates, nice. posting. Awesome. Yep. And then equine, I do okay. focus heavily on um, you know the barrel races, um, Colt Classic, Nile Gold Buckle Horse Sale. Okay. Um, so there's a variety of us, and we stay quite busy. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm getting ready to promote the event. Oh yeah, for sure. So do you do a lot with the website and stuff like that, or just more mainly main social media? Yep. Um, there's quite a few of us who also work on the website as well. I haven't started on that yet, um, but throughout the week we will be posting updates there. Um, and then I know beforehand we've been working on uh, updates on the website. Awesome. It's a nice website. If you haven't been on their website, it's it, what is it? The Nile dot org. org. The Nile dot org. So go check it out. There's tons of information on there. Um, so tell us a little bit. If people don't know about the Nile, what's the background of the Nile? What does the Nile say? Yeah. So the Nile is uh, the Northern International Livestock Exposition. Started in 1967. Oh wow! So we are celebrating 54 years this year. Next year will be a big 55 for us. Um, and it is basically um, our sole mission is to preserve and embrace the Western way of life. Okay. So to educate, egg education, um, promote agriculture in our industry. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So. Um, 4-H, is that kind of something that's part of that yeah. program? Yeah, so actually going on in one of our other buildings right now, we have 4-H and FFA kids okay. checking in their market hogs, oh, cool. and then we'll check in steers and lambs and goats later today. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 4-H is big in, in Nile. Youth education is big in Nile as well. So, it, so can people get big on livestock? I mean, is that yeah. how that works? Okay. Yeah, I know. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So, with going back to our 4-H and FFA kids, these lambs, goats, hogs, and steers will all be for sale on Monday okay. next week. And people can uh, come down to the sale and get themselves a home-raised animal uh, uh, to put in their freezer, or they can just support the kids um, by, by purchasing an animal and choosing another method. And that's great because... If you haven't noticed, the price of bacon <laughs> skyrocketed. It did. It's like $8 a package now. It did, yeah. So we've got great market hogs over yeah. there to put in your freezer. Um, obviously, beef in stores has gone up as yes. well. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it definitely pound for pound is better to buy it on the hook than it is in the, in the store. Well, and plus, they were well taken care of and loved. And yep. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So yep. that's great. So, um, can you talk a little bit about the rodeo side of it? Absolutely. Okay. When yeah. does that start? And so, tomorrow night is our ranch rodeo finals. Okay. It's also Wyoming night, okay. University of Wyoming night. Okay. So, uh, go Pokes. Um, <laughs> and a lot of um, a lot of our team, we got 10 teams, five from Montana and five from Wyoming. And they're sh uh, showcasing everyday ranch uh, events. Okay. So, uh, we've got trailering, doctoring, branding, and of course the all-time famous wild cow milking. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wild cow, okay, what is that? 
<laughs> so they, they let a cow out okay. and they have to get her mug down and actually milk her. Oh my gosh. Yes. And that's something that people can watch. Yes. In oh. the Ranch Rodeo tomorrow. Oh, very interesting. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So following the Ranch Rodeo, we have more excitement. We've got a dance in the dirt with oh. Kyle Shove and the Walking Boys. Oh. So as soon as the rodeo is over, we invite everybody down onto the rodeo arena oh, fine. in the dirt. Oh, that's and so we've cool. got a, a hometown kind of backwards feel of the dark farming. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, that's so that's cool. tomorrow night. Okay. Um, and then we move to next week. Next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the PRCA rodeos. Okay. Mm -hmm. 7 o'clock nightly. And uh, we've got rodeo tickets available at metropark.com. Metropark.com. And so, yeah, so all of this is happening at the Metro Park, and then we're right now in the Expo We're in the Expo Center. Center. And then some things are going on in Pavilion as well. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, this is kind of a, people come from all over the nation, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep, we've got 38 states in this year. Oh, wow. And well over 2,500 exhibitors. Oh my gosh. So there are like booths set up and, and yep. vendors and yep. things like We've that. got three different trade shows. Okay. Uh, we've got one here in the Expo Center, one up underneath the Metro, in Lower Metro, and then um, next week, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll have the Nile Market in the Pavilion. Oh, okay. So is the Mate Show going on at the same time or is that a completely different thing? Yeah, so Mate Show is our sister show. Okay. It happens in February. That happens in February. Okay. Yeah. That's yep. That's so we... Um, we do this trade show and then we shift gears and bring you back another one in February. Okay, nice, nice. So, some people get confused. There's the PDR rodeo and then there's the Mal rodeo. What, yeah. what would you say the difference is? So there's one similarity. I'll talk about that first. So the one similarity is Nile actually brings PDR to town. Oh, really? We do. Okay. Not many people know that, yeah, but know. We, we play a, a big hand in bringing them to town. Okay. Uh, the difference is, is PBR is all bull riding. Oh. So if you're looking for like a rock concert and bull riding all yeah. together, yeah. that's, that's PBR. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you want a classic feel of a rodeo with that added pizzazz, yeah. that's us. Yeah, because yeah. you have the barrel racing. Yeah, we have all those PRCA events. Um, as well as um, some very cool production pieces. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I've been to the Nile, and I, I, it's, a, it's a great time. So if you don't have anything to do this weekend, definitely get your tickets on Metro. Yep, metropark.com Metro for the rodeos. Okay. Everything else is free to the public. Oh, okay. So we encourage them to come down, shop with us in the trade shows, great. come through and, and see the animals, and uh, bid on one. And help yeah. those kids yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. Because they've worked hard. They have. Yeah, they, they have worked really hard. hard. They're the future of agriculture. Let's support them. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So what time does it start today? What time do events start or what time can they yeah. start? So right now we have check-in going on. That's an all-day thing. Okay. Um, tonight our barrel race starts at 6 o'clock. Okay. People are welcome to come down and watch the ladies. Um, they'll be running today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Okay, awesome. And then it's also next weekend as well. Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, Thank you so much for chatting with me. It was yeah. super lot. I, I just called them super last minute. Will you do this for me? <laughs> so this was wonderful. I, I learned a lot, actually. Yeah, so. it was fun. Yeah. Thank you for having Yeah, us. thanks so much. All right, well, join the rodeo. Get in there and get your cowboy hat, your cowboy boots. I don't have cowboy boots on. I have to go on. It's just not really fitting for this. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, and thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs>